Hello, people of YouTube. Hello, silver stackers. Hello, coin roll hunters. Welcome to my little corner of the internet. This is Michael from Pennyhaven, and first off, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button, then give it a like, then come back over here and hit that bell icon so you know when my new videos come out. All right. So now, a quick word from me. Hello everyone, I am currently in the parking lot at Sweetwater Sound Incorporated, my former workplace, because this is where we hold the monthly Old Fort Coin Club meetings. So yeah, I'm about to go into the coin club. I'm going to probably buy a couple raffle tickets for silver dollars. Uh, we get a little door prize ticket just for being members and yeah, raffle stuff, and we also have an auction, which I'm definitely going to have to buy some things at the auction, so I have something cool to show to you. But tonight is also special in another way because I am giving a presentation. So I have my script right here, two pages long, and it is about crown-sized silver coins of the world. So not just crowns, but crown-sized. You can see a Mexican Onza there. And I even got into some modern bullion, and then I realized that I'd forgotten to put these older ones in there, so it's all over the place. It was gonna be in order by year, but then I accidentally left these guys out. Some failures and goldens and whatnot. A couple pesos up here. Philippines and Cuban. Oh, this is my oldest crown, 1671 Charles the Sec. A little, a little worn, but yeah. Also, uh, I do want to point out this coin. I don't think I've ever shown this on the channel before, but this one right here, I'll take a picture of it later. This is an 1804 dated uh, Bank of England dollar. There's the reverse, and it's got a fascinating story. I say it's dated 1804. They were produced 1804 through 1811, and that's all uh, George III, but they were produced using captured Spanish eight reals because there was a silver shortage due to the Napoleonic Wars. A little fun fact, a very cool coin, and of course that's in my speech. So I'm gonna wrap this part of the video up and go into the coin club meeting and hopefully I'll have a lot of great stuff to share with you later tonight. Talk to you then. And we're back. Boy, I tell you what, like, I've done a lot of acting in the past. I can and have acted in front of hundreds of people, thousands of people at times. That's fine. Not nervous, but giving a speech in front of a room of like 30 people tonight, wow. So nervous. But I think the speech went well. I got lots of compliments on it. There it is. Crown sized silver coins of the world. Just two pages long. And for doing the informational presentation, the educational corner, whatever you want to call it, tonight at the coin club, I received this 2022. American Silver Eagle. So I'll add that to the stack. And we also had, well, first let me show you a few of the coins that I showed off tonight. This is that Bank of England one. Oh, I think I already showed that earlier. I've got a chop marked 8 Real, uh, an 1820 and an 1821 British crown. Mexican 8 Real from 1834, 1838, 5 francs. Let's see, let's skip ahead a bit here. Ones maybe you haven't seen yet. This one's always a favorite, and this one's got some nice toning on it. That is Alfonso the Thirteenth, the baby king of Spain. He was technically king upon birth, but his mother kind of ruled in his stead until he was 16, I believe. 
are my straits settlements? One dollar. Unfortunately, that one's was removed from jewelry and removed poorly. Ah, this guy. This guy from Ecuador. Look at these chops. That is, I love that. I any coin I find with this dude on it, I try to pick up. Just for the chops. He's got some amazing hair. This one's interesting. This is Egyptian. And it's a hydroelectric dam right there. I believe this is 1962, maybe. My first Mexican onza. Once again, nice toning. A few bullion coins. My nicely toned. I like toning now and then. Uh, Maria Teresa, Sailor, uh, Restrike, of course. An actual Sailor. The very cool reverse right there. This Netherlands, two and a half golden. Really like this guy's beard and hair combo. Do I just like coins because of people's hair? No, I don't think that's it. But check out this lady's hair right there. She's got big hoop earrings and this curly hair, and I love it. Beautiful. We have Cronin Thaler. Chilean Peso. Let me flip that up, because that's the interesting part on the back. Philippines Peso, Cuban Peso. It's in great condition. I love that coin. That one's a 1934, and my 1671 Charles II crown. My earliest crown. Not in the best shape, but... Okay, so, if you've watched my Coin Club videos in the past, you know that we have an auction. So, I bought a few things at the auction tonight. First off, I grabbed this 1961 proof set. It's just Philly. Now, this might need to be popped out of here and put into its own holder. The plastic is breaking, the plastic is breaking down and this dime was up with this uh, half dollar. I do have a spare, just plastic, date set for a mint set, so I think I'm gonna pop this into there so it doesn't suffer any more damage, but it has produced some beautiful toning. Look at that. Oh, man. That half dollar is so beautifully toned. Oh, mm. I think I'd kind of like to see that in the slab. I don't know if I'll, that I'll do that, but it would be nice. Okay. I got that for like 20 bucks. I grabbed this formative years Lincoln scent for three bucks. I mean, I will, I'll take a slab for three bucks any day. I only took this one though. Uh, I don't want to like buy everything in the auction, so if I've gotten a type of something, I tend to let someone else get like the next one. There was another one I, I didn't uh, bid on that one. What can I say? I'm too nice. And then I got a 1922 Philadelphia and 1923 San Francisco peace dollars. I think I got these for 26, 27 dollars respectively. Good deals. And then I let the other one or two go to other people, but yeah, grabbed a couple of those. Yeah, that was the end of my auction wins tonight. There weren't too many auction items up. There was one piece that was going for $600, a small annex slab coin. I can't even remember what it was at this point, but uh, they said it gray sheeted for 800 and they wanted 600 Good deal. Not, not a deal for me, but good deal. Okay. So I think that's going to be it for tonight. Thanks so much for watching. If you happen to be someone who learned about my uh, YouTube channel tonight at the Coin Club and joined up and subbed, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I look forward to getting to know you all better in the future. All right.
Time to head on out of here. This is Michael from Pennyhaven. Happy hunting.